Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Brewery I have not been to or a brewery I haven't reviewed in quite some time. Two Rivers Brewery. Yeah. Stop down there today on my birthday. A little lunch. Had a couple beers and I wanted to get something to go. And something piqued my interest. That'd be their Bourbon Barrel Age Scotch Ale. Sub 10%. I love me scotch ales. I love me barely scotch ales. Don't see a ton of them. And it's relatively low ABV. They do bottle some stuff, but everything comes in 32 ounce crowlers. Do I want 32 ounce crowlers at 10% barrel each beer? Not so much, but 16 bucks. That's not bad cost wise for 32 ounces of barrel age. Hopeful goodness. So we'll see what's what. I have this weird thing. Baltic porters and barrel age we have these. Gotta do them in a the stem glass. I don't know why. I got a bottle opener because that's what you need for crawlers. Oh my god. I am 48 years old today. Or as some assholes would say, 48 years young. Um, man, that is filled to the brim. So I don't have to worry about oxidation, at least in the crawler portion of the show. Uh, oh, let's. Huh. I did a pretty good job of getting that in the glass without spilling stuff everywhere. I'm pretty proud of myself. Kind of want to pat myself on the back. Um, two Rivers. Um, I've interviewed, so Josh Bushy, I interviewed, uh, he was the head brewer at Two Rivers. He's no longer there. He's over at Fegley's actually in Bethlehem now. Um, so I wasn't quite sure um, about their beer. Um, and, you know, I don't know how long ago he left, but I, I really enjoyed him and what he did as a brewer. Something stuck. Stuck focusing on weird shit um it's not that i haven't avoided the place but i just don't get out all that often but um i was at another brewery and i was talking to one of the brewers and they're like yeah josh is there but they still their beers are still cracking so i was like oh. today i ended up having a um uh, you know like i said it was my birthday i was farting around down that way and i was like you know what i want some lunch i want some food i want to go get some beer let's go there so i stopped in had a couple beers a little bite to eat Amazing food. One of the best kind of food beer combinations you can get in Pennsylvania. And like I said, came home with the sucker. And I'm not going to lie to you. That is peak We Heavy Scotch Ale, man. It looks like... I haven't pulled this one out in a little bit, so for those that have been keeping score at home waiting, straight doo-doo water. Like, that is doo-doo water. If I hold it up, I'm getting nothing. It is brown murk. Brown murkiness. I am very, very excited. It has this really nice kind of cream like soapy edge to it i'm not gonna lie to you just the looks of this if the mouthfeel isn't bonkers i hope the flavor's on point but we're off to a very very good start let's get a nose that smells pretty good it smells pretty good there is cool vibes going on here there's a little bit of a butterscotch thing going on like a touch which probably is an off flavor i'm not gonna lie to you but in a burn barrel age we heavy i think it actually is, accentuates things i think it's, it's it's a good thing a touch of butterscotch in a dessert who's not gonna like that that's i'm not meaning to call it a perceived possible negative as the only thing i get on the beer first off but that's the first thing that jumps out of my mind outside of that it is figgy and datey and all those kind of things. It reminds me really, like, man, it smells really good. It's not huge on the bourbon, but you can tell there's a spirit involved. It, there's no big barrel char on it, but you can tell there's like an oaky vanilla kind of thing working for it. This reminds me very much of, so, Fuller's. Uh, Fuller's... Extra, was it just their extra special ale or whatever? They're the bottle, like their their version of Hardee's or whatever you want to call it. It is very, very much um, feels like if they made a wee happy. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting off of this beer. That's high praise because not that I'm like a big, huge kind of like over the top, like, okay, the Fuller's special edition, whatever. I'm probably getting that wrong, the exact name. I, I always called that like a methadone for Thomas Hardy, but the low ABV portion of the show there kind of really makes it worthwhile. And the same thing here, you're talking about sub 10% barrel age and giving me those vibes, giving me those rich kind of figgy, datey, 
you know, under sweet and sugar daddy kind of vibes. Not necessarily getting the raisin daddy vibes, even though you can get like a little raisin vibes off of this. The honestly looks are fantastic. The aromatics are fun. It smells very English. English ale. Again, like I said, low ABV version. Age hardies. That's not a bad place to be. I'm just gonna dive in. Cheers. It's delicious. It's really, really, really good. Like, really good. Oh, man. God damn it, I have 32 ounces of this. I'm going to have to drink it now. Mm. Man. This is very much that. The nose is... It actually is um, a bit more expressive. A bit more... The volume is turned up here. We're cranking it up a little bit based off the aromatics. But it follows the suit. It is very much raisin, figgy, datey. Chocolate. That little butterscotch thing I got aromatically didn't really follow so much in the taste. Not that I'd be bad at it if it did. Um, but it's a really cool beer in that it is, like I kept saying, you know, the Fuller's Special Edition is like a low ABV version of a Hardee's. Well, this is like that, but as a wee heavy, because it has that mouthfeel of a wee heavy. There's a little bit of kind of satininess, a little bit of pillowiness to it, a little bit of richness, kind of really done, well done, Doppelbach Porter-esque kind of mouthfeel to it. I think that's something that you can get a lot from your Scotch Ale wee heavies. And when you combine it with, it's burn barrel age, not hyper bourbon. To, to the core. It's not like spitting out huge spirit vibes, but you know there's a bourbon component here. It's nice. It's well done. There's a little bit of fruitiness to it. I'm not going to sit here and call out like bourbon notes and stuff like that, but you can tell it, it's doing its thing with that spirit. The that bigger portion of the show is the barrel, which again, more often than not, when I'm talking about a bourbon barrel, I want her to be a barrel char. I want her to be a rub chocolate. I'm looking for coconut. This is almost unchar... You could tell there's a charriness going on, but the char is huge. And you get a lot of lighter vanilla notes out of it. A little bit, like, not fresh oak vanilla, but something akin to that with a little bit of a light char to it. And it marries really, really well with the beer. That's really good. Like, really good. I think it's very specific to me. <laughs> maybe maybe that's the best way to put it because it is it's echoing a lot of the beers that I really enjoy from the past and beers that I really were the Mount Rushmore of beers for me and pretty much still are age J.W. Lee's age North Coast Old Stock age Thomas Hardy Ale this had a lot more in common with those beers than pretty much any other wee heavy that I've had. I'm probably sure I've made that association before with some kind of barrel age age wee heavy because it, there is a lot of interconnect. There is a lot of kind of Venn diagram connection going on with those beers. But this, when you're talking about the spirit barrel age and it's just that, that inherent getting down to we want something that has this raisin nettiness to it and age is really only way to make that happen and the only way to accelerate that is long term i would say year and a half two years so this might even be a bushy beer because it probably sat in a barrel for a while um it's going to accelerate that po portion of show and get you to that raisin eddy kind of holy land that i love so much when it comes to these beers but again keep circling back to that fuller's <sighs> It's the low ABV version, ABV version of those beers. It's the sub 10% version of those beers. Those other beers are more impactful for me. They're richer, they're bigger, they're bolder. If I'm gonna you know, talk about which ones I like the most, this is kind of coming up in the rear of a very esteemed list, at least for me. But you can't dismiss the low ABV here. You can't dismiss 9.5% as opposed to 13, 14, 15% of a beer. And that's where that kind of, that trade-off, I guess, for me, is worth it. This is delicious. Mouthful, rich, full, silky, almost pillowy. Um, 
a little bit of tankness to it, a little bit of tea-ness to it. So there is a little bit of a hot presence here. Slight roasted malt, it's nothing too crazy, but to let you bring in a little bit more expressiveness of malt. Again, most of what we're dealing with here is sweet, with a touch of, might even be savory slash umami in a very slight little portion. But it really is the barrel of the spirit and that, that age part of the beer that really gets me. So it's it just it, an amalgamation. All those parts working together to bring you this rich <laughs> bourbon-soaked raisinette with vanilla. And all those things have very, very aggressively shaved edges to them. Uh, all of them, nothing in here is sharp. Uh, everything here has softness in a beautiful way. I think this is fantastic. I don't know how long they're going to have this on. I'm filming this on January 13th. Um, I got it on January 13th. So I got it today. Reviewed it today. I'll post it. I'll try to post this tomorrow, actually. Um, I think this is kind of a special beer. I really, really do. Especially for its low ABV-ness. And what I covet in these kind of beers. Um, I think this is really, really just hitting the nail on the head. And something to be celebrated. For a brewery that just doesn't really get much, you know, kind of any kind of play. I don't really know a lot of people, except for a few that I've more, more often than not I've directed to Two Rivers. Um, you know, I think they deserve a little bit more love than they get. Um, they're definitely the old school brew pub thing. They actually have a spot in Easton uh, at the top of the hill. If you know where Easton is, you know where the top of the hill is. Um, they have a secondary location. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where that one is. Um, I'm trying to look for it on the can right now, um, but I'm sure if you go to uh, the website, they'll be able to let you know. They have like a satellite location, and their food is off the hook good. Uh, uh, Southern barbecue, Nashville hot fried chicken, like burgers, fries, the whole nine. They kill it on the food side of things, and their beers are really good. When I was there, I had a lager, I had a little pale, and I had like a single hop hazy when I was there. All really, really nice. And it's just a great combination, especially if you go over in PA, in the East in Phillipsburg, um, you know, Bethlehem area. Um, definitely worth a hit up. And if you dig on old school barley wine slash English old ales, um, and you dig that aged versions of those beers that I mentioned, the Lee, uh, JW Lees, the Harries, um, the, the old stocks, you owe it to yourself to stop there and get some of this. I th again, temper it a little bit think more of that fuller special ale as opposed to Thomas Hardy. It's that kind of thing where it's bringing you a lot of same notes but without aggressive impact. But, man, at 9.5%, I think you'd be really hard-pressed to find a better malt-forward barrel-aged beer than this. Let's put it that way. Mount Rushmore status in that tip. In the grand scheme of things, it's in that company that makes it awesome. Uh, valued availability. I did not want to buy 32 ounces of this beer. I'm kind of glad I did, but... It's the only way you can get it out of there, unless you've got 64 ounces in an actual glass growler. Um, that's 16 bucks. You know? I ain't gonna get angry at that. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. All the stuff that I just said. If you like that, you like this. Two Rivers! Have you been to the brewery? Have you been to their other location, other than other, uh, the one in Easton, which I've never been to the other one? Um, have you had their beers? Have you had this beer? If you've had Please let me know any of that stuff down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed some malt forward barrel aged goodness. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all. Terry Kill just scored on like a huge bomb. It's a goddamn flag in the field. I'm going to be pissed. Peace. <laughs>